Today I'm going to show you how to quickly clean a Smith & Wesson 38 revolver with just a few items. So we're going to clean this Smith & Wesson revolver. We're going to use a cleaning rod, a couple of small patches, some, some larger cotton rags, toothbrushes, some original gun oil, and a boar snake. And that's all we're going to need. So I'm just going to take this grip off. I have another video to show how I cleaned this grip. I'll put a link to that video in the description. For now, that's all the disassembly you need to do on a revolver. I want to clean the cylinder. I want to clean each one of these chambers. And I want to clean the barrel. Those are the most important areas to clean. I'm going to get a patch. I'm going to soak it with original gun oil, which is a CLP, so it's a cleaner and a lubricant. It's going to do everything we need here. I'm going to get it on there pretty good. So I'm just going to run this through the barrel. I'm going to run it through each one of the chambers. We just want to get some of that cleaning oil inside each one of the chambers. And then we're going to let it sit for a little bit. All right, got them nice and wet. Okay, so now this has been sitting for a little bit with a cleaner inside the barrel. Now we're going to take a boar snake. This is specifically for uh, 38 special, uh, 380 and 9 millimeter, all the same diameter. We're going to run the boar snake through the barrel a couple of times. Boar snake has copper brushes built in so it's going to break up any uh, sediment that's in there that's that's hard to get and then the rest of the boar snake is going to wipe it nice and clean all right so we're going to do that just a couple of times now that barrel's pretty clean all right so we're just going to do the same for each one of the chambers here. It's already got the cleaner in there, so we're just gonna pull this through and clean it up real nice. You can just do one or two passes through each chamber. Okay, so now we're nice and clean in all those cylinders. We're gonna take a clean toothbrush, a lot, put some original gun oil on it, and then we're just gonna Gently clean all the surface areas of the gun that we can get to. This gun's got some rust spots on the outside, so I'm going to especially do the outside on this one as well. Basically, we're just going to get this cleaner everywhere. I'm going to let it sit a little. The original gun oil is non-toxic, so you don't have to worry about getting it on your skin. And it's not going to harm any of the materials that your gun is made of. Now you can't open the hammer area without closing the cylinder, so you can do that. You want to get in here as well. Add a little more if you need to. Really important place to get is under the extractor. So this extractor star, if it starts getting buildup around here, it won't close all the way. And then that's going to cause problems. Okay, it looks like I've got just about every, every surface. Okay, I'm just going to let it sit for a little bit. And then we're going to come back and wipe it down. Now that we have let the revolver sit for a little while, I'm going to... Just wipe it down with some cotton cut up t-shirts here. And we're gonna try and get it nice and nice and clean as best we can. Make sure we wipe down under the extractor star. Get all that dirt out of there. Just wipe it down everywhere we can. If you see some dirt down in here, I have these great swabs. They got a pointy end and a regular end. You can 
get these swabs and get down inside. It doesn't have to be spotless to work well. I want to make sure we clean this breech face off. That gets pretty dirty. The hammer down. Now as far as lubrication, you really don't need much lubrication. Just put maybe a drop on a Q-tip. I would lubricate in here just a little bit. Get that lubricated. Then I would maybe put one tiny drop down in there where this spins to keep that spinning nice. Work it in a little and then remove the excess. And you have this pivot point right here. Put maybe a tiny drop. Let that go in and then kind of move that off. One more place to put a little smattering of lubrication would be just right here. That will help the cylinder close like that. Just going to put the grip back on here. There we have it. We've now cleaned the revolver. This one has some rust spots on it that are not going to come off, but it is now clean and ready to go. If you like this video, please hit the like button below and please subscribe. And all the products that I used in this video have links down in the description. Thanks for watching.